We see people talk about the resurrection of Jesus all the time as though it was a conspiracy. In no way, shape, or form does the early church account of Jesus rising from the dead fit a conspiracy theory. First of all, it was written about very soon after it happened. There was hundreds of witnesses. Many of them are named. Many of them actually wrote the accounts. We have consistent attention to the specific details and people didn't, I mean, even, even the people who weren't Christians didn't say the Christians never taught early on that Jesus rose. I mean, from almost day one, they said, these guys are saying that this guy rose from the dead. And all someone had to do was produce a body. All someone had to do was give a, a, a rational owl for why this didn't happen. And it, it never happened. It did not appear. And I mean, and the other thing about a conspiracy theory is, I mean, how many people are willing to go to their deaths believing something that's not true? Very, very few. I mean, consider the Watergate break-ins in the early 70s in the Nixon administration. They, these group of people broke into the Democratic headquarters. They tried to steal some documents. When they got caught, the story fell apart instantly. People started turning state's evidence. People started saying, yeah, I'll, I'll testify. Don't throw me in prison. Some people went to prison. I mean, that whole thing collapsed immediately. And yet, when you look at the apostles, you know, taking out Judas, the, the 11 remaining disciples of Jesus... They all died for their faith hmm. and died in brutal ways. You don't die for a lie. No. You don't, you don't willingly subject yourself to a, a brutal torture method and death if you don't actually believe this thing. So the resurrection of Christ is not a conspiracy theory. And would you say that we're as certain about the resurrection of Jesus as we are certain about the moon landing? I would be hesitant to put um, a religious claim and a scientific claim in the same sentence but if you phrase it that way yeah they they fulfill the three tests the test of logic the test of probability and of course the test of church history there's no reason to reject the moon landings there's no reason to think the earth is flat there's no reason to reject the resurrection of jesus christ if you are interested in getting the latest information from creation.com and rob when he writes about conspiracies whether they're about the creation evolution debate or something else that comes up in the scientific field, then you can check out the link in the description for this video for our e-newsletter, and you'll be informed about the latest things whenever they come up about these subjects.